Yesi es Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana yes. If there is a day William Ruto and his team have been embarrassed, then it has been today. Everything William Ruto and his team did today backfired. And Kenyans have been mocking William Ruto since morning. Let's just have a look at some reactions by Kenyans. Mwalimudida kip koech kinudium. Kenya police chased a convoy for five hours thinking it was his excellency Raila only to realize that the cars were being driven by mechanics who were in fact hmm, who were in fact doing road tests when Prophet Mackenzie of Yehofa Watongaren said let there be confusion and Mrambano, you thought he was joking. That's a Kenyan just trying to mock the government. And just as I did explain in our earlier analysis, the police spent so many hours trailing as new members of parliament thinking Rail Udinga was in that convoy. The police spent a lot of hours trailing that convoy. They realized very late in the day Raila was not in that convoy. And Kenyans have been mocking the government as a result of that. Let's have a look at another interesting Kenyan here. Ndumu Harun Akili Yababa Wachatu he declared Mandamano, but secretly told his supporters to stay at home. The predictable evil government wanted to paint a Laudinga as chaotic and as usual, woke up early and touched a bus and a lorry as the police watched. It's now coming out that neither Raila Odinga nor his followers were in the streets today apart from the empty vehicles that the police were chasing across Nairobi. So whose goons were in the streets today and touched the bars and the lorry? Raila Odinga received intelligence of the planned chaos and destruction of property by Moses Kurian and company and wanted to expose them. He didn't cancel his protests, but laid low giving room for the government's rogue operatives to continue with their plans. Without moving from his office in the Upper Hill, Raila Odinga has played the government and exposed this regime for what it is, a regime that can do away with the entire population to prove a point. Yes. So Ndumu Arun is also just mocking the government and trying to expose the truth as it is that Raila was not in the convoy and that the government's goons most definitely touched that vehicle thinking that they could paint as a mirror in bad light. But then looking at that vehicle it had no number plate. A confirmation that the number plate was deliberately removed because the owners of that vehicle, the evil plotters, knew that they were to torch that vehicle. And then the interesting bit about it is that Azimio team avoided that route completely. In fact, that they were on the other side of town. So the goons most definitely took the advantage that trial had announced the rally was to start 6 a.m. in the morning. So the goons, because they don't think, using their brains, they went ahead, started torching vehicles very early in the morning, not knowing that that was just 
a trap laid for them. And then again, just as I did explain in our earlier video, the intelligence could not even establish that Trail Odinga was not in the convoy the police were trailing. And also something that lends credence because we are also being told that a lorry was also torched. Let's just have a look at this video before we continue. Because I want you to notice that the police are actually moving away as that rowdy crowd actually raids that lorry. And in, it's very strange that no tear gas canister was held to disperse the goons. <laughs> and that only proves that even the police themselves were aware that the goons most definitely were government-sponsored goons. Have a look at this video before we continue. <laughs> You are seeing the police walking away from the goons as they set fire on the truck. A confirmation that they might have been privy that those were government goons. Because naturally it was expected that maybe a tear gas canister was to be held to disperse the goons. That never happened. So looking at what happened today, the government's plans just backfired. <laughs> the government's plans just backfired and William Ruto has been exposed as not a leader, but most, more of a criminal. Hmm? He heads a criminal enterprise going on what was witnessed today. And also listening to Moses Kuria speaking yesterday, he was issuing all sorts of threats. Mm -hmm. Some assassination threats on Raila Molodinga. The, William Root has not come out to denounce him or even to call him to order. A confirmation that all these things happening are happening with the full blessings of William Samoy Ruto. And that's why I've always maintained leaders in this government are hoping majority of them are not fit to hold a public office. They are not fit to hold public offices. And I think that's a fact and not debatable. So today, basically, everything backfired as Emil Brigade clearly outsmarted William Ruto and his team. And from what was witnessed today, it's a fact that Tyler Odinga has a lot of support on the ground. Ruto knows that his popularity is waning on the ground. And that's why we are seeing William Ruto becoming more dictatorial. He wants to silence critics because he knows his, his future politically on the ground is bleak. In our next video, we are also working on Millicent Omanga because Millicent Omanga also shared some tweets in the morning claiming that Nairobi CBD, it was business as usual. While we all know that <laughs> CBD today, it was not business as usual. Most shops were closed. In that video, we are also going to dissect those in details. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to support our forum, I've pinned my number on the comment section. Contact me through the number or feel free to, to send your support to the number. Any other person watching us, but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. Let's meet in our next analysis.
Thank you.